today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Today is Thursday and I just had a meeting with the gentleman who is going to be building the cabinets for our kitchen and it went really well. I'm very excited for the cabinets but right around the corner is Dover Antique Mall. So we are here now and we're going to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. That looks like Lennox. It is Lennox. And then down here those look like Becky Mummert. Yes they are. How much? $22 for the bowl. Um, is this a spoon rest? I don't think it's an ashtray. How much is that one? That one is $12.50. I think I'll pick up the Becky Mummer. I usually pick it up when I find it. I like the looks of those uh, plates down there. I was going to try to move this guy out of the way, but he is solid. Like, super solid. Look at that. That black light display is amazing. Look at the jack in the pulpit. This is like a, a Stevens and Williams style. Wow. Does, is it a crack? No, it's not. Wow, that's just gorgeous. Didn't look at the price yet though. $68. I'm very surprised that all of the petals are there. Hmm, they're a little bit of a rough spot there. But it looks to be in good condition, and look at how bright it is. <laughs> I spotted that from across the room. Um, yeah, I mean, if all of the petals are intact. Oh, there is a, look, <laughs> there is a crack. Darn it all. Oh, just my luck. I think I'm going to leave it. So in addition to having um, antiques and collectibles, they also have a lot of these crafty booths, which I like poking through because you never know when you're going to find the perfect hat. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is really cute kitty fabric. What is this? Oh, it's a cat mat. Oh, that's cute. What are the, oh, these are catnips. Of course. I don't have a cat, so I really have no use for that. Those look strangely familiar. Let's look at those, shall we? I was about to walk out of the booth and then I paused. <laughs> oh, so it's the entire set for $75. Um, they are. They are. Oh my gosh. So if you remember, it was a long time ago, I stopped at Hart Thrift Store in Hanover and I bought two, I think they were both unicorns, about two unicorns. And um, I think they sold for like over a hundred dollars each. So this one is Candle Magic Gift Shop York. They're made of resin, um, and I usually have to check them over and make sure there's no damage. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take those with me. The whole set for only seventy-five. This is actually really neat as well. I'm usually um, on the fence about uh, these glass glued pieces. But I love the angel. I think that's really uh, it's really neat. There are some more figurines. I wonder who makes those ones. Swamp Demon. <laughs> oh, they're so much fun. Enchantica, The Well of Hope. By Andrew Bill. I've never heard of this before. I like the looks of that vase over there, so I figured I needed to get a closer look. Mosaic Vase. Oh, that was a really interesting texture to it. I guess it is kind of like pieced together. It is, in fact, mosaic. Here is a nice set. Oh, they are signed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to decipher that one. It's really little and scribbly. Um, this says, Stoneware tea set, $14.95. Gosh, I feel like I could get at least... 40 bucks for this alone. Oh, there is a marking there. It's marked TG. I buy a lot of mugs, like artisan made mugs, directly from the person who makes them. And um, I think I've paid that to like $68 for my coffee mugs uh, from my paper crane, Heidi Kenny. Uh, so I look at these pieces and I'm like, you know, when they originally sold those, they probably sold them for quite a bit of money. Because um, there's a lot that goes into making these. So I think I'm going to grab these for $14.95. There's a kitty cat over here that looks like it has some age to it. Uh, I've seen these before. 
Madagascar cat twist turn toy. That's what it is. Yeah, $55 on him. I've never seen the cat before though. I see a lot of zoo animals and like um, elephants and stuff. I don't think I've ever seen the cat before. He's really cool, but at 55, I just don't know the value. Here in this booth, um, I happened to look up and I noticed this beautiful specimen. $7.50, yellow overlay. Okay, so does that mean, yeah, no, it, I'm like, was it painted yellow? No, it is a yellow overlay. $7.50, um, I think this would be considered tango glass because of the contrast. I mean, granted the handle is more of like a root beer color but um, it's only seven, only seven bucks and 50 cents. That's great, I think we'll take that as well. Um, I am getting a little nervous about my basket, so I think I'm actually going to carry this picture and my basket and film all at the same time. Here is pretty vintage blue glass mini decanter. Um, oh, it's got, it's got rubber. Usually uh, whenever something has like a rubber stopper thing, it usually indicates that it's more contemporary. Um, so I don't think that I'll be picking that up, but uh, this booth definitely drew me in. To get a closer look at this, let's see what the bottom says. Galvin. Hmm. It is pretty. There is a nice dragonware set over here. Fifty dollars, cups and saucers. I I was focused on this guy. That is great. Is it marked on the bottom? Is it just marked? Made in Japan, right? Um, I think it says painted by hand. I don't know. It's kind of blurry. But um, the Moriage on that is very fantastic. Let me check and see what they're asking. Uh, $80 on the vase. And then cups and saucers, $50. There's no litho paint in the bottom. I mean, those are really thin. So it's making me think that they're a lot older. And some of the dragonware I come across. A set of plates here are also $30. Uh, made in Japan. They're marked. Gosh, it's been a hot minute since I sold any dragonware. I did look up dragonware. Um, you can see that uh, this one, a set of four, sold for $85. But these ones have a geisha litho paint in the bottom, which means when you hold it up to the light or when you put hot water on it, a lady appears in the bottom of the cup. So these ones are a certain brand, S-A-G-J-I, and I'm not sure what that is. Here we have another litho pane. It's one of the reasons I usually look for litho panes in the bottom of the cups because they have a tendency to sell better. Here's a set of four sold for 40. So you consider that it's $50 for this set. That works out to $10 a piece. I'm gonna make sure that there's no chips or cracks on them. I think I'm gonna buy those. And I can't buy those without buying these little plates. You know, you can put your cookies on there, have some tea with it, or your biscuits, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the vase, the vase, I'm just on the fence about at 80. But then I'm like, you know what, I'm buying everything else. Maybe I should buy the vase to go with it. I wish I could figure out the marking. Made in, yeah, I can't. I think I'm gonna buy it all. Okay, so I was able to get everything down um, except for the cups and saucers. So I'm heading back up to the second floor and I'm gonna load up the cups and saucers. Here is kind of fun. It's three blackbirds on a clay bowl. The birds look to be in decent condition and it is signed on the bottom. It looks like Schmidt something, Marshall maybe. But it's only $6, so I'm gonna stick that in my basket. The other thing I noticed was this copper on enamel. I do kind of like it. It's only three dollars and fifty cents. Ugh, okay. I hate to be selective, but I just, I have to be a little bit selective. There are two little chicks here. How much are those? Four dollars and fifty cents. Let's check them over and see the condition. I can't remember. Elfinware, I think is what this is called. Um, that green texture. You know, the flowers look to be in pretty decent condition. This one is missing one of its petals, but it's almost to be expected um, because they're so fragile. That one's missing a petal too. They're only $4.50 and they're very adorable. So I'll stick those in my basket. All right, well our total spend there today was $500, well $505. Um, it's been a while since I had visited, so it was nice to browse and see what I could find. 
But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna head home. Um, Andrew's gotta get over to the shop and pack some packages, so we're gonna switch off. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, so make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.